Eventually they'll lose all that down. They're just starting to lose the down now and you can see they're growing these huge wings right here. Yes. So how old will that one be? Oh well, let me think, it's born probably uh, about the twenty fifth or something of July this one. Twenty fifth, twenty sixth of July actually. Almost two months. And so, so you, yeah, you keep records of all of the ones that you Yeah, yeah, well, these are a ring, but I also mark the adults. Right. <coughs> it's very interesting to see which ones come back. Right. You know, how they pair up again yeah. the following year. I'm putting the geolocators on some as well. All right. So right. we can see where they go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do they yeah, mate with the same? Sorry? Do they mate with the same? Pair? Pair Usually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they fail. Unless they fail, then uh, sometimes the female, they divorce and the female tries to find <laughs> out. Another or one. Or like the two there, the one female swap partners. So oh, really? She <laughs> swap, yeah, yeah. She tidy the neighbor was better looking, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But they're actually a very interesting trout. There's some recent work being done with them using the geolocators, and uh, they're very flexible in their, where they migrate to. They have about five different areas where they can winter, and they actually move between all five during the period they spend uh, maturing. And then they can take as many as nine years before they breed for the first time. So in that time, they, can, they travel between these areas, which is one of them is up uh, off the Grand Banks off the east coast of America and others down towards Brazil uh, one's off um, the Cape South Africa also into the Indian Ocean and another site is off the west coast of Africa so they have quite a lot you know they could choose basically where they want to winter based on what food's best where I guess so they're actually quite immune to some of these climate change effects and things mm -hmm. like that right, yeah. Yeah. and how long do they live generally? Well, all yeah. petrels like this or shearwater, very long lived. Uh, the exact age of, no one's actually sort of followed the full life of quarries. The similar species, like the former you get in England, they live over 50 years. Wow. Yeah, and maybe 60, something like that. So they're very long, but they're very slow breeding. Only one egg a year. Yeah. Sometimes they skip a year as well. So this is why it's quite, uh, you know, a cat can have quite an impact. You know. Of course, mm. yeah. yeah. Do you want a close up photo or? Yeah. Looks a bit sort of afro, isn't it? And, yeah. <laughs> and they don't, because I mean, with, with yeah, birds no. at home, if, if you. The, the, when they're tiny chicks, if you handle them, then generally, or if somebody goes near them, then the mother will often abandon them. At what point can you? Well, she would never know that I handle these. They only come back right. at night for a start. Ah, so of course, yeah. 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 I mean, so she's not there. Uh, yeah. Do they have fish by this point? I mean, do they? Uh, yeah, they have quite a varied diet actually. Uh, fish, squids, things like this. Yeah. Type of quite fish called the boar fish they eat quite a lot of, but also things like mackerel, sardines, and uh, a lot of the sort of uh, smaller squids stuff yeah. you get you can eat in a restaurant. So 
well hidden. 